Okay, so continuing to field more questions here for U.S. Simile. This one's from the group chat. Student is asking about the correlation between UWorld first pass percent correct and the step one score. Okay, and they posted a graph uh, that they found probably off Reddit that shows data points and, of course, a best a best fit line where if you score higher in UWorld, you're going to have a higher U.S. Simile score. If you score lower in UWorld, you're going to have a lower U.S. Simile score. That makes sense but they want my view as to how accurate is that? Should we believe that type of graph, okay? So I will quickly make a point as far as uh, your UWorld percentage in relation to what you're eventually gonna score in the US Simile and how much you should take that to heart, okay? So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I usually am, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping for US Simile, help build awareness for this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as your UWorld first pass percentage in relation to eventual US Simile score. Obviously, there's going to be a correlation, okay? But the point of this clip is to, co is to communicate to you that you should absolutely not overanalyze your percentage on UWorld as far as, OMG, what does that mean I'm going to score on the US Simile? And I say that because, number one, UWorld's not the fucking US Simile. The NBME exams are. And number two is, regardless of what percentage you're scoring in UWorld, you need to sit the NBME exams. So let's say you're getting real fucking low percentages in UWorld and you're freaking out, okay? but you sit the NBME exams and you take three of them and you actually did pretty decently, well, it's the NBME exams that matter, okay? And bear in mind, you're going to be potentially scoring in a different place later in UWorld when you're 2,500 questions in compared to when you first started, but your overall average might be lower, okay? So, of course, in a very logical and blind sense, we could say, well, yeah, if you are scoring higher in UWorld, that is likely to mean you're going to score higher on the USMLE. But you need to be aware that no, you should not take your UWorld percentage to heart. Do not overanalyze it. Do not get emotional about it. Just agnostically go through the QBank. And then it's the NBME exams that matter. Okay, it's your NBME scores that matter because the NBMEs are the USMLEs. I've made plenty of content on this, okay? That when you go into the real deal, it's going to be a hypothetical NBME 31, 32 for step one, and it's going to be a hypothetical NBME 12, 13 for step two. The questions are exactly the same. They're accurate. They do not overpredict or underpredict. I've also made clips on that. So you know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.